Hello and welcome to this video where I am going to be showing you how to transfer video from this Kindle Fire onto a computer in order that you can edit it in Serif Movie Plus. Now before we begin I am going to need a video so I'm just going to open up the Kindle and the camera app and I'm just going to record a very quick video. So I'm going to make sure I'm in landscape orientation so that it matches the orientation of the computer screen and of TV screens. It always looks wrong when you put a portrait video on a computer screen so we're going to make sure we do it in landscape and I'll just press record now I've not really got anything interesting to record so I'm just going to do a little pan of the room um, and come across here just to show you how we can import this in a moment so there's the camera okay and I'll press stop so that's now saved the video onto the Kindle and we need to um, put this onto the computer so, to do that, I'm going to use the USB cable that you can also use for charging the Kindle. So I've plugged the USB end into the computer. There are ports on the front of the computer to do that. And I plug the small end into the charging socket on the top. Now, once I've done that, the computer will start thinking about it and it should register that it's been plugged in. So, if you go to Windows Explorer or this PC uh, and click on that icon, and you go to your computer, where you can see your drives, you should set now see the uh, fire comes up as an option. And if you double click on that, you should see internal storage. If you don't see that, it's probably because the uh, Kindle has been switched off um, or has locked and you need to um, unlock it in order to be able to see the files that are on it. So just wake it up, put the pin code in, unlock it, and then you should be able to get the files. So double click on internal storage and then go to uh, DSIM, which stands for Digital Camera Import. Double click on that, and then double click on Camera. And you will see uh, all of the images and videos that are stored on the Kindle Fire. They are ordered by time, so the newest ones are at the bottom of the list. So if you've just recorded what you want to put onto your uh, Movie Plus project, then you're going to need to scroll down to the bottom to find it. And once you've found the video that you've recorded, you can notice that they've actually got the date. So this one says 2018, 02 for February 15th, that's today's date. And it says 1807 seconds, which means at six o'clock and seven seconds, I made that recording. So that's the recording that I want. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm gonna choose copy. And now I just need to find the place on the computer where I want to save that. So it's either going to be in your documents, your network area, or probably more likely it's going to be in your group's shared folder on the student shared drive. That's where you should put all of your work from the Kindle so that everyone in your group can access them. And when you're in the right place, just right click and paste. And it will start copying the file from the Kindle onto the computer. And you can verify that it's there by double clicking to open it and just previewing it to check it's what it should be. So I'm just going to do a little pan of the room. Okay. Um, so that's obviously the video I've just taken. So we've now managed to copy the file from the Kindle file onto the computer. The next thing and the last thing is just importing that then into Serif Movie Plus. So to do that, we just need to go in Movie Plus. Um, if we've got our Media tab open on the right-hand side, um, then we just go Import Media, Import. We've got this little disk folder icon. And you just need to find the location where your files were saved, either your Documents area or the Student Shared area. And just double-click on the name of the file that you've just copied over. And if you want to add it to your timeline, you just drag and drop it to the timeline. And you might be asked if you want to change your project settings to match the settings uh, for the video file that's been imported. Um, and that's a good idea, so yes, you want to do that. And once that's happened, it should be imported into your video project and you can press play and you can confirm that it's working. So I'm just gonna do a little pan and there we go. And that's how you take your video files from your Kindle onto a computer and into Movie Plus. Now you may find if you've recorded your video under low light conditions um, and it looks a little bit blurry when you play it back, you might find that it plays at the wrong speed in Movie Plus. 
And if that happens, don't worry, just go and watch one of the uh, other videos in this series of tutorials about fixing the audio and video sync issues with low frame rate videos. Um, and it shows you how to fix that problem that you might encounter.